we're back to another search for progress. Preferably progress I can make me feel confident we've got this game in the bag again. Assuming of course I ever had it in the bag at all. Well, at least there's a way to kill those things, even if for some reason the beams don't have any effect. Great. I dodge away from one just to get attacked by the other coming up from the floor just below us. Definitely not an especially inspiring start to this clip, but at least I decided not to look at the walkthrough again just yet, after only looking through it in the previous clip. Okay, this treadmill setup looks like something that would have fit in better in Mario or Sonic the Hedgehog. And given the amount of damage I took in this hallway, and for how little gain, again, I'm reminded why I'm not a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog or the Mario Brothers back from the early 90s. Not that I have anything really against 2D platformers, just that I didn't get into the genre until it started going into 3D, which is about when Sonic started to have some trouble and Sega ended up dropping out of the console making business. Definitely taking quite a bit of damage just for a minor missile upgrade. I get that the X-ray visor is supposed to be an especially useful tool for us, but with the way they hide paths around here, it's not really proven to be the answer to our problems. A walkthrough would be. Though, given how much I'm using the damn thing, yeah, I definitely didn't bother to use the walkthrough for a second clip in a row. Eh, it's not that I have something against using walkthroughs in uh, general. It's just that the Metroid games, part of the fun, is exploring the various areas, learning the terrain as you keep going through the game, or at least trying to learn it, since apparently my memory of two-dimensional environments is shaky as hell. So checking a walkthrough means you're denying yourself the uh, chance to discover things. Still, with how I stalled out in this game at some point, the exploration thing doesn't feel as fun as it probably should by now. Again, as annoying as some of the enemies are in this hallway, at least we can heal in here. Really wish I had a better memory so I'd know if I've already checked if it's possible for us to get through in a particular way. Though, given how I was literally trying the same thing over and over again in the same damn few minutes, I don't think memory is an issue at the moment. It's just pure frustration. I don't even know what it is I'm looking for at this point. I'm just hoping for something fresh that gives me the sense that maybe there's going to be something major at the end of it. Something to make me feel like we're not going to be essentially locked out of so many small sections all over the damn planet. Granted, the scale of the Metroid games doesn't really give you the sense of scale of even a moderately large island, much less an entire planet. Still doesn't change the fact that we've been blocked off in a lot of paths for quite a while now. 
and our best means of getting through these balls, these paths involve us having things we don't know where to find. Again? While it's better than nothing, I'm pretty damn hungry for another major upgrade by now. Thankfully, when we get to Metroid Fusion, I won't have to worry so much about aimless wandering. I'm not as sure about Dread yet, though. Yes, we're swinging back to the wrecked ship again. Again, this would be less annoying if I had some clearer idea of where to go now instead of just poking and prodding in areas we've already been to in the hopes that we somehow find something that opens things up for us. But again, that's part of the point behind this kind of game. I kind of find it funny that I don't really have an issue with this uh, sort of thing from the Arkham games. They certainly took plenty of inspiration from the Metroid series along with the Assassin's Creed series. Kinda makes me wonder if I'd have an easier time coming up with commentary when we finally get to the 3D section of the Metroid franchise. After all, my introduction to the Metroid franchise is always through the Metroid Prime series, not the 2D games that I've been LPing so far. Okay, that's interesting. Not that we can explore that tunnel without the bloody gravity suit. Though I'm pretty likely to forget about that tunnel by the time we get that thing. At least with the rate I seem to forget things around here. And of course, there's no way down from there. Don't get me wrong. The open nature of Super Metroid is pretty damn fun, especially at the start, but somewhere around the middle portion, I just get more and more inclined to wish things were more linear, so I had a better idea of just how far from something important we really are, and if it's really possible to get to said thing, considering what we have, and how much I know about the game's mechanics at that point. Just how much longer am I going to have to keep trying to explore this section of the planet? Seriously. For all I know, scanning various already explored areas with the X-ray scanner will let me find whatever it is we absolutely need to make more progress to the next major boss. If not an outright path to another boss or an upgrade. Very sure we've already scanned these walls, mostly because we've spent several clips inside the wrecked ship, hoping to somehow find either the gravity or screw upgrade. Well, that's new. Definitely looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass to get to the other side, but hey, it's new territory. Oh, 
Okay, apparently the treadmill doesn't affect the trash can bolts for some reason. That certainly feels like bullshit. Yeah, there was no way this hallway was going to be a dead end. Uh, please tell me there's more than just a super missile in here. Son of a bitch! That was all there was in here. Granted, I probably could use more Super Missiles and Vites, but come on. When they hide something this well and put so much between us and the upgrade, excuse me for thinking it's gonna be something that does more than increase how much ammo we can carry. Seriously. I'm pretty sure that the Missile and Super Missile uh, upgrades feel more heavily defended in this game than the other Metroids we've gone through so far. Not that they were easier to grab than, uh, in this game, just that the way the rooms are hidden, and then defended once we get into them, it's... Well, it's making me even more frustrated when not getting the more critical stuff. Feels like I do have an issue with this game, and can't really call it as perfect as it gets. But it feels more like a taste thing rather than actual mistakes on the game designer's part. I mean, it's not like this game is leaving things as open and easy for us to get in over our head as uh, the original Legend of Zelda. But come to think of it, there's only two Legend of Zelda games I've ever played from beginning to end for some reason, even though I very much respect that series. Twilight Princess and Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Every other game for some reason I end up uh, having trouble going from start to finish because I stall out for some reason and then drop it on entirely. Probably not a great idea to talk all that much about Legend of Zelda while we're still fighting our way through the Metroid series. And the fact that I am tempted to just talk about something other than the game I'm currently playing through is probably a bad sign. Especially since, technically speaking, Super Metroid is a pretty short game. It's certainly nowhere near as long as Metroid Prime, unless I get so damn lost that I make no progress at all for over ten bloody hours and I don't have quite that much raw footage to have to work through on my computer at the moment. Yeah. Somehow doubted there was anything else in the former boss room. But again, it's not like I've got all that many ideas on what to do at the moment, so may as well try the long shot. <sighs> really wish I had some real idea where to get try checking next. Also wish I could remember the terrain well enough that I don't need to keep scanning things I've already gone through multiple times in the same damn clip. Now part of me is tempted to end this clip as we save soon just for the sake of giving me a break, but I think I can throw in another recording session into this clip to keep chipping away at the raw footage sitting on my computer. Who knows? Maybe I'll actually find one of the big upgrades before this clip is done if I throw in about oh, eight more minutes to this clip. Much 
much as I wish we had more progress before doing this save, the fact of the matter is we did gain a number of upgrades in this clip, even if none of those upgrades are going to open up any new uh, paths for us. Great. Now I can't help wondering if Metroid Dread is going to have something like uh, the pulse scan or the x-ray visor, because it's probably a safe bet that there's going to be a solid number of hidden paths scattered across that game. Kinda tempted to fast forward through this hallway considering how many times we've been through it so far, especially since it looks like the doors don't seem to lock out here anymore for some reason. Wonder why? Keep hoping there's some other way down there, but considering how much I've been looking in the past few clips, you'd think I'd have figured out certain routes just aren't possible. Instead, I'm just checking the same ideas over and over again. I'm pretty sure that's some decent evidence that I'm going at least a little insane here. Yeah, I think I've more than proven that dropping down further from here isn't going to gain us anything. Breaking through those blocks with a speed boost does nothing for us, even though it's pretty well shown it's the only way to get just above that upgrade, really. Ugh. That sort of thing is just annoying as hell. I swear, it's downright baffling what I should do from here. Maybe it would have been better if I had just outright checked that walkthrough again. Me just checking things on my own isn't getting us much of anywhere because I'm hitting the same spots over and over and over again. Ah, well that looks new. Just because we see something new though doesn't mean we're going to be able to reach it from here and that's part of my bloody frustration at this part of the game. At least we're going to be able to go through a door we haven't seen before. But first, I've got the feeling we need to heal as much as we can before moving on. Sure, this isn't an explicit health regeneration station, but it's still pretty useful. Though, apparently, 
apparently the health pickups here are a bit inconsistent in quality. I'm not sure what I was expecting in here, but a rocky area with a lot of water in it wasn't what I had in mind before going through that door. Okay, no risk of the floor giving out on us as we run across just to spite us. Why am I so hopeful? That music means we're gonna get some more major upgrading here. What the hell? Okay, if it wasn't for Metroid Prime, I probably wouldn't have even thought to turn myself into a ball while standing on the statue's hands like that. So there's a staircase that we can't even see in here that uh, only the statue can go through. Well, thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, I can't even begin to describe the sheer amount of relief I'm feeling now that we've gotten that. It doesn't eliminate all our problems, but it certainly takes care of quite a number of them. Definitely something worth saving, though to be honest, I can't help feeling Samus looks better in orange than purple, even if I very much appreciate the things the purple suit will do for us. At least I didn't forget about that tunnel since we first discovered it earlier in the clip. Yeah, definitely appreciated just how high we can jump in the water and how fast we can move now. I think I mentioned this in a previous game we've done in the series, but I can't help feeling the suit doesn't really seem to affect gravity, considering it makes us move just as smoothly underwater as above it. It also doesn't explain how we can run around under lava without taking damage. Not that I need an explanation for the fantasy tech that opens things up so much for us. It's just... One of those things I can't help noticing. 